the Grassroots Institute is a free market think tank. It's a member of the State Policy Network, and it, it's the go-to place in Hawaii if you want to find out how uh, we can solve our own problems and we don't need government to do it. Great. Okay, Sandra Burgess, thank you for coming. You're from Aloha Brawl. Yes. And thank tell you me a little bit about yourself and Aloha Brawl. Well, I'm a local girl born and raised here, and um, about 10 years ago, I got really interested in um, the sovereignty movement and what's happening, and I I just, it doesn't make any sense of, sense to me at all. And I'm really interested in uh, Harry's study. I think it's an important study to show that Hawaiians are no different from anybody else that live here. Okay, and you're native Hawaiian as well, right? I'm, I'm one-fourth Hawaiian. Okay, great. Dr. Coughlin? Aloha kako, o ken Conklin kou i noa. I'm Ken Conklin. I have a PhD in philosophy, a master's in mathematics. I've lived in Hawaii for 16 years now and speak Hawaiian with moderate fluency. Uh, I have a very large website on the subject of Hawaiian sovereignty and a recently published book entitled Hawaiian Apartheid, uh, Racial Separatism and Ethnic Nationalism in the Aloha State. The book is available through Amazon.com, and people can read the first chapter and the detailed table of contents free of charge at the URL, which is appearing on the television screen. Great. Okay. Well, we'll get more into that later. Um, Dr. Messenheimer, can you tell me a little bit about what you uncovered? What is this good news you're talking about? Well, the, the st studies you usually see, or the comments you usually see, say how downtrodden Native Hawaiians are. And as an economist, I was interested in their poverty and income statistics. Well, the first thing I noticed when you look at Native Hawaiians versus others is that Native Hawaiians have a much larger proportion of non-working children, ages 0 to 17. Well, if you have a much larger proportion of children, that means there are more people to support for those who are working. And so as a simple matter of arithmetic, you're going to have more people who fall under the government calculated poverty line. And so now you found all this out in, in your, uh, through the census. Yes. And um, basically it took the census, of, the census and Exactly, the census, from 2006. census bureau staff. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I, sure. I'd um, like to there's some other points, but... Um, I think that we should take care of everybody uh, equally here. And if people need help, they should be helped. Uh, we have programs to do that. Um, but, you know, this race-based um, entitlements has caused nothing but horrors, and we just have to look at um, history to see what it, what it does. Harry? Yes, I'm more than a little disgusted that I must conduct a study like this, which focuses on race. Let's eliminate the race for all Hawaiians. Okay, so if you want to see the study, it's at grassrootinstitute.org. And I want to thank you all for joining me today, and uh, thank you for sharing all your knowledge. I'm Leah Zimmerman. This has been News Behind the News. Aloha.